evening, it is 4.42 in the PM, we're twinning, I've just realised, and we're back in the UK with a bump. It's very, very windy outside, but we've been at work all day and we thought, let's go on a post-ride poodle, aka a zone two, very nice and slow, steady ride. I'm actually going to be riding on the Galaxy today, which is my dad's pre-1990s bike, no, not pre-1990s, where's it from? 1990s? No. Yeah. It's got no, down it tube, it's got um, shifters on the end of the handlebars, not down tube, so it's not that old. But yeah, I just thought, back from Italy, I quite like the vintage bike, so I'll whip that one back out of the garage. Um, oh, and today, we're moving up in the world, we've actually got a sponsor for today's uh, video, which is Hello Fresh. Get in. So they basically, that means that we've got a really nice dinner tonight, which I'm going to be cooking up. And of course, we ordered, can you guess, a curry. Coming out back in the UK and back into the wind. Oh. Lovely headwind to wake us up after a day at work. Not nice. But it does feel good to be outside. So I can't complain. It's on the 10th of October. It's, or was, depending on when I put this video out. Mental Health Awareness Day. I thought I'd share some mental health tips today. Things that have helped me when I've been struggling. So tip number one is try not to compare yourself to other people. And remember that not everything you see online is true. It's so easy to go on Instagram or every other social media you can imagine and look at people and think, oh, they've got the perfect life or even not on social media, just in your daily life, like they've got a better job or they've got more money. Or, you know, the list could go on, but I think you have to just remind yourself that you're your own person and you have to be grateful for what you've got and not everything you see is real. So someone that appears to have everything might not be very happy so yeah don't compare yourself to the people focus on you your achievements are your own personal ones and if someone does more than you it doesn't make you any less of a person we've all got our own goals and aims and be proud of yourself so the next little tip is a really simple one and it sounds silly but just smiling at yourself in the mirror it's a really easy quick little mood booster so if you're in a bad mood or feeling down just smile and it just makes you feel happy just for a little split second even if you're not happy for very long it's a nice little easy one for you kyle on the canny how are you finding her a... she's yeah. a bit jealous actually, actually. a bit like ice cream for me is it smaller, yeah. oh you're not having her she's nine ah oh, it's nice after a day of work just to stretch the loins just stop for a little break not that we need it but i thought it's a nice little spot so let's stop and enjoy it. My next little tip for you on the mental health front is to have something planned to look forward to because I think, I'm not saying you know, rush yourself through life and don't enjoy the moment you're in, 100% enjoy the moment that you're in, but I think it's really important that if you are feeling demotivated or low, having something to look forward to really helps. So for me today, that's my curry that I'm gonna be having later. And I always think, even if it's not something big, it doesn't have to be a holiday or something expensive. It can just be something really little, like treat yourself to a Hello Fresh box or go on a little bike ride or have a little slice of cake, you know, whatever takes your fancy. Watch a film, have some popcorn, treat yourself. Basically, have something to look forward to. Oh, so there I'll do another tip because it's, you know, a nice spot. 99% of your worries don't come true. I mean, I have worries running through my head 100 miles an hour. Basically, like I'm freewheeling down a hill and I can't stop, that's how fast they go. Um, but sometimes the worries get to you and that's okay, but you have to just remind yourself, whatever you're worrying about, no matter how much you worry or think about it, it's not gonna change anything. So unless you can do something about it, park that worry and tell it to bugger off. Sorry for my language, but you know, that's what you have to do because it's just silly wasting your life worrying. And I know you can't do anything about it. I'm the worst culprit because I say that and then I've got get worries and Kyle gets annoyed at me, don't you? Because I'm always like, oh, what about this? But when you like to take a step back, you just have to remind yourself that worry is probably not going to come true. And if it does, we'll deal with it. I worry about punctures. We fix them. It's fine. So yeah, less worrying, more living. Anyway, speaking of worries about punctures, we're not puncturing today. We've got the Beastie Boys show with marathons on. Puncture resistant these are. So come on, little galaxy. Don't let me down. Off you whip, Carl. Get your cod loins going. We're rolling again. Right, my next tip is to look after your body. So. When you move your body, I always think it makes you feel better. So even if it's a little ride, a walk, a jog, a gym, just something to move yourself. It just makes you feel better. Blooming it, that wind's not making you feel better. And obviously, you know, just having a nice balanced diet. So eat healthy, but let yourself have treats every now and again. It's good for your social mood to have a bit of cake, but don't eat loads of it. Just like it wouldn't be good for you to eat apples all day. It's not good for you to eat cake all day. So everything in moderation. Don't feel guilty for having some cake. 
and don't feel guilty for eating a bit too much sometimes it's okay we all do it but as long as you you know on the whole eat a balanced diet then that's going to make you feel better mentally as well so yeah uh. and again with this, with the move in your body don't do too much let yourself rest as well it's all about balance balance is key which i've definitely got wrong in the past we're doing too much with my eating disorder as well we're not eating the right things i used to think just eating fruit and veg was healthy no it's not it's not good for you so get the cake in get the nectar in get the chai lattes in kyle what's your favorite thing to eat my favorite thing yeah i'm gonna i'm coming you might be here a while what's your favorite thing to eat if you could only have one meal for the rest of your life Sausage and mash. Oh, Sausage no. and mash? Well, that was a fave from when I was younger. Yeah. I like the simple things in life. Well, what? I mean, I mean, I had some fine grub in Italy, but. Um, if you could only eat one meal, what would it be? Sunday dinner. Sunday dinner? I love Sunday dinner. Oh, for me, it's got to be a curry. I mean, come on. Favourite drink? Oh. One drink for the rest of your life. Well, I couldn't do it for the rest of my life because I'd be an alcoholic, but <laughs> nice beer and moretti would go down a treat. <laughs> Well, you know what mine is, chai latte. My next little tip is just take some time every day to relax. Life can be really, really busy, and I know that all too well. And it can feel like you're just rushing around everywhere, you don't know what you're doing. But something really simple, like just focusing on your breathing, can be really, really helpful. Oh, little cough. So, what I found helpful is I breathe in for four, and then breathe out for six, and just do that a few times. Just really just focus on the air going in and out. And it's amazing how much calmer it can make you feel just by something so simple because it just puts your body into the sympathetic nervous system no not the sympathetic the parasympathetic nervous system which is basically like you slow down and relax so and it lowers your heart rate and just makes you calm so yeah don't quote me on those facts it's been a long time since i was a nurse but i think that's right but anyway yeah focus on your breathing and another little thing as well Relax your shoulders because we go through life like all the stuff we don't even realise. So just notice when you're hunched up, relax your shoulders and breathe. My next little tip is don't worry about what people think. Just do what makes you happy and live your life. Obviously there's things you, know, you have to do like go to work and all that. But when it's things you want to do, don't worry about people judging you. Do what feels right for you. Do what makes you happy because at the end of the day, we've only got one chance this life. So dance on top of hills, yippee down. Do whatever you want and don't worry because one day let's be honest no one's going to remember us so don't worry just do it that's what i say and the last little tip i'm going to give while i'm riding is that it's okay not to be happy all the time and it's not possible to be happy all the time so just remind yourself that the low moments the sad the angry moments they always pass and so do the happy moments so just enjoy the good times and keep going through the hard times we're all in it together but obviously if you're feeling low all the time or anxious all the time then definitely get help talk to someone go to your doctor because soon as you start speaking about it things can start to get better so don't don't struggle on your own please but yeah there's no should with feelings so it's not oh i should be feeling this i should be feeling that just let your feelings come and go and don't be hard on yourself but yeah Enjoy the happy times because they'll always come back around. Point the cow. Come the back around. <laughs> so, right, ding dang, Dudley. So, today we've got three dogs in the house. This is mum and dad's dog, this is my sister's dog, and we've got Chester down there, the usual beast. Basically, everyone's away, we're looking after them because I work at home full time in the day, so I'm with them all day, so they're all well looked after. But anyway, oh no, I can't put them down now. Hang on, we'll have to cut a minute. Real business time. Hello, fresh. Basically, it's send you lovely little me menu cards. I'm going to say memory cards, then I need them, my memory. So, we've gone for a poo poo chicken, chest. Breast, I mean, not chest, tree bake. Greek inspired oregano pork. How do you spell that, Kyle? Coffin. Gyros. Yeah, whatever well, yeah, that means. Yeah. It looks lovely on the picture. And what we're having tonight? Thai green style butternut squash curry. Oh, yeah, I'm ready to make it. But yeah, oh, I forgot to tell you. Oh, I'm doing a challenge soon actually for mental health. I better tell you that when I'm eating my dinner. I, forgot, I was meant to say that on the ride, but I forgot. So yeah, let's cook. And I'll give you my news. Right, I've had my shower, I've freshened up. I'm not really looking that fresh because my hair's a mess, but I don't mind, I'm at home cooking. So I've got a recipe card, number 20. Seeing as we were sent three different cards, there's three different bags. So number 20 is what I need. Uh, here we go, number 20. Right, 
Now, in here, will be all our ingredients. Let's see what we've got. I'll wait for these. Mmm. Hey, Kyle, what's this remind you of? A butternut. Fragrant jasmine rice. It's not smelling too fragrant around here, Kyle. You're going to show it yet? First step, chop and roast the butternut. Eat, eat, eat. Ooh, look at that nice. It's hard. What's the best way to chop this? I do love this. Carl, you could cook this. I mean, you're not that good at cooking, are you? Let's be honest. And excuse me. <laughs> and I feel like you know, with the with the nice simple recipe, this is not how you do it. By the way, this is how you chop your hand off. Be very careful. I think we need some new knives. Right. Why do you think it's best to do this? Eh. Yeah, Kyle, you might have to chop it. Oh, be okay. Oh, it smells really nice. It smells like Halloween. Yeah, it will. Butternut. So I've chopped up my butternut squashy, and now it's going to be roasted in the oven. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to cook my rice. So let's get on with it. At some point while I'm talking, a little QR code is going to pop up if I can work out how to do that, which I think I can. So you can scan it and get a cheeky discount. If you don't want the QR code, look in the description. There'll be a cheeky discount in there for you instead. Anyway, guys, we can use discount and get it in the box. I hope so. <laughs> Sizzling the pan, it's nearly ready. I've been enjoying cooking so much, I've not been filming it too much, but honestly, Oh, this smells good, isn't it? Evine. Oh, the dog's playing with his bone out there. Kyle, get close for this. Look at this, honestly. It actually, yeah, actually smells I'm incredible. I'm actually really excited about it, Kyle. Incredible. Yeah, it's been really quick to make, really easy. Do you know what I'm ready for? I'm getting it in my gullet. Oh, I'll tell you about my challenge. So basically, on the topic of mental health, every year I like to try and do something to raise money for a mental health charity and raise awareness. Uh, it looks like a bush. Um, Last year at Everest, did which way you like go up and down the same hill until you reach the height of Everest on my bike, basically. And this year, I've decided that in seven days, so from a Monday to a Sunday, whilst working full time, I work eight till four, I'm going to be riding 1,150 kilometres because in the UK, according to the Office of National Statistics, 150 people die every week by suicide, which is not very nice to think about. So I'm going to do 1,150 kilometres and basically. Every morning before work, I'm going to get up at like quarter to five, ride for like two and a half hours, and then every night do the same. And then at the weekend, depending on how many Maloney's are built up or kilometres, I'll be doing either a 350 or a 400 kilometre ride on the Saturday and a 200 kilometre ride on the Sunday. So my loins are going to be pretty knickknacked. I haven't fully decided the date yet. It's either going to be next week or the week after. But when this video goes out, I'll either be doing it or it'll be next week. But I'll put a link to my Just Giving page if anyone wants to donate. I'm doing it for Rethink Mental Illness. Um, so yeah, that's my next challenge and I'm a bit scared because it's going to be dark as well, so it's going to be fun, but it's for a good cause, so yeah, that's my challenge. And this is the finished product, look at that, it's blooming lovely, we've got a bowl of it each, but Kyle's already in the dining room gobbling his down. Kyle, are you happy with that? Mmm. Does it smell good? Mm. Take a bite, give it a score. <laughs> what about the curry? That's just the rice. Right, like onions. Pudding. Crispy onion. Wow. Delish. <laughs> and with that, we'll say goodbye. Thank you so much for watching. TT to the FN. Goodbye.